Hey guys, and welcome back to what we should not include Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in a rock full of brains and a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we have ourselves a total of 14 duplicates making their way into the future as comfortably as I can possibly manage to get them there. And our main concern right now is, of course, the telescope crew over here. We have Hubble, we have Chandra, we have Compton, and we have Spitzer, of course. How, how, could, how could Spitzer? ever have left my mind trying to make themselves comfortable over here we've managed to get ourselves a little bit of a foothold but it's not what we need is it no not at all i think we need to clear out this area over here we're going to start making ourselves some nice little comfortable bedrooms as the cooling starts to flow liquids at minus 10 degrees coming from our cool slope uh, cool salt slush geyser which should hopefully be able to uh, cool everything down here the uh, the salt water being picked up by the pump turned into water the water is being split into hydrogen and oxygen and the oxygen being pumped out via the wonder of this gas pump over to this side of the base where we're going to inhabit now i i think i think the time has has come that we really need to uh, make our way over this side and get get everybody out of these cramped half capacity uh, in environments that we have around here i think we're going to start with a bedroom at the top two two sleeper uh a two berth sleeper at the top then put some toilets in between another two berth sleeper more toilets and another two berths if we can i don't know whether we will have six duplicates here but it's always nice to allow for extras we do quite often have duplicates traveling between asteroids and so it would be nice to allow for that uh what are we gonna put in there i think the first thing we need to make sure that we have uh, is a little bit of furniture i want to i want to have a plant pot down here one two three four blocks high uh we then want to have i mean we would have the comfy beds we're going to allow the three blocks for the comfy beds slam down another bed there'll be a, a, a two two sleeper as i said a two berth sleeper and that should be a good little layout for our uh, first bedroom on this side i'm going to go all the way out to the the ladder here though i think actually i want to keep one block short uh next one we need to rip down this little block right here if at all possible tile please can we get rid of that the uh, ladders are also going to have to go but we can then start thinking about what we're going to put in the uh the, the little toilet area over here of course being that we are on the uh the the dirt in fact, you know what? I'm going to move that one further up. We're on the dirt economy right now, uh, which means that we have outhouses and one, two, uh, and manual to uh, manual wash basins. I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm not okay with these ladders being here. Uh, I'm okay with the manual. Um, wash basins and such forth at some point we will be uh, pumping all the liquids around instead and maybe there won't be enough room for what we've got going here but we'll just remove these areas out we'll build more toilets this will be utility rooms in that case oh, it'll be wonderful spitzer you seem to be troubled let's uh, let's see if we can't get some things going on over here i think these are items that only hubble can dig so let, let's get that going uh maybe in fact ask spitzer to rip all of these down yes indeed hubble the uh terrible tragedy of the duplicate who can do all the digging unfortunately can't do any of the building so we need to get him through to do the dig orders before bam 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 we actually can uh get the build orders down colony has a new achievement what, what what achievement have we earned let's have a look hello uh pulling back the veil reveal 80 percent of a map by exploring outside the starting biome i was fairly sure we'd already done that but okay thank thank you thank you for showing us the achievements Sometimes as Overseer, you just need to find the ways for your duplicates to synergize their skills. If this sometimes means that you don't put down the build orders before getting Hubble to come along and dig up all the floor, then that is the way it has to be because these guys are now working beautifully together. I need, of course, to pick up this uh, this uh, gra granite tile here and put down the build order for all of this. Uh, and once this area has been uh, emptied out, we can, of course, come back and put back all the toilets that we did have here originally but of course 
We needed to remember that different duplicates have different skill sets, and it works much better if we allow for that. Well, it took just about everything we had, but there we go. We got the start of a civilization up and running there. I'm also going to dig out this area. We're going to let this water free, but more importantly, we're going to let this water free over here. I would ideally like to move this entire ladder over one, but we'll, we'll, we'll you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to start from the very bottom and just work my way up here. Of course, that's not going to work because Hubble can't dig up out ladder sections, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make a nice clear way through here. I do like the way that the water is dropping. How have we got carbon dioxide up here? We're going to also now completely de uh, deconstruct. I wasn't expecting them to take that block out first. Out of all the blocks, oh, yeah, that wasn't quite the one I was expecting. I was hoping that we could go through and take a few of these blocks out first. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get down there because, yeah, th things are looking sketch. Okay, we had a small rupture whilst moving the ladder over one. I wonder whether we can actually take advantage of this, though. I'm going to pop down a critter drop-off there. Let's uh, make sure this is super high priority and someone can get to that nice and quick. Then maybe we can pick these guys up and have them put off over to this area here. That would be very, very handy indeed. Okay, all the, uh, the ladders have been put in place. The water is draining and there's quite a lot of it, if I'm to be honest with you. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it all. It's... It's kind of got to all be put down here. Eventually, we're just going to pump it all up and put it into the uh, the oxygen system here. Maybe even take some of the water coming out of this pipe here and dump it in a... Let, let's, let's set this up. I'm going to go plumbing. I would like to have a liquid vent under there. And we want this... Uh, this water pipe to come up and under there. Okay, that's beautiful. Take this tile apart. Now, somehow, I need to get under there. I think I'm actually going to destroy this millwood tile and uh, put down ladders like so. Create a drop-off. Auto wrangle. Zero critters, please. I don't know who's going to get on there. Uh, spits are unreachable. That, that's a shame. Is it because of this block here? We'll find out. So, yes, it was because of that tile. Now, Spitzer can jump across and wrangle up these uh, poke shells beautifully. Beautifully. I'm going to want him to carry on and get the second one as well, if we can, as soon as this one. Let's speed up time a little bit here, get the second one. Is someone else going to come along and make the delivery? That's what I really would like to know. He's doing a lot of wh whistling. I thought maybe we'd be picking up a shine bug from elsewhere, but is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Okay, well, what, what about these up here? Surely someone can come along and make the deliveries up here. We've got Hubble and Spitzer working on it now. Spitzer coming along straight away to the place they were just at. And, of course, Hubble doing a sil similar there. Running up the, uh, the, the newly fashioned stairway, the ladders, sorry. And we're going to want to put a... Uh, I think I'm going to want to put a fireman's pole in here. But we get a drop-off of one of them. Beautiful. No one's aggressive at the moment. And the second one is on its way. Just Spitzer not quite as fit as Hubble was. All right, beautiful. There we go. That's, that's the full drop-off done. Okay, so with the civilization beginning to get marked out, we of course do need some other things here. I think one of the first things we need to make sure that we've got a uh, microbe musher, electric grill. These would be uh, would be very handy. Put a refrigerator in between. And of course, I think we can put this shipping above. As soon as the autosave lets me do anything. And this shipping, of course, we're going to have an auto sweeper above the fridge. Can it reach everything? I think it should be able to reach everything there. Uh, and this should be a nice little uh, little kitchen at the top just kind of delineating an area out here and then we can put a mess hall underneath yeah that would work well everyone filters down into the mess hall we can get the food delivered straight down underneath yeah brilliant nice but whilst we watch Spitzer go around and be the very bedrock of this society, building the very floors from which they walk upon, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that are the bedrock of my society. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure me and my PC can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible means a great deal to me being able to do all of this and for that I have to say thank you. Thank you so very much. So with the kitchen in place, I think it's time to think about somewhere where everyone can eat. I'm having a look at the Great Hall here. It says the maximum size is 120 tiles. I wonder whether we can come down all the way to this level here. 13 by 8. Oh, that's an awkward number. 
It's 104, maybe even the uh, 112 if we come all the way out to here. We're probably not going to do that though because we're probably going to end up with this sort of range. Uh, okay, I'm just going to grab this tile. Uh, granite, of course, hopefully. Granite because this is where our duplicates will be walking. So we want to have slight improvement to the decor and granite, granite gives that. Uh, I'm going to just ask for all this to be dug out. We're going to have a liquids problem. I think we're doing okay for liquids issues at the moment. We we definitely should be considering how we're going to be pumping this out. The scolding is becoming a regular issue over this side in um, Pyaxlin. I, I don't know. It, it's over here. Look, you can see that all the uh, all the heats are escaping, and people are getting too hot over this way. We're trying to kill the molten slicksters as fast as we can make them, because uh, they are one of the big producers of the heat. Uh, that that that's going to be something for another day. In the same way that. Um, Rutherford coming around and making sure all the lava can flow over this side is also going to be for another day. Uh, when I checked on here at the beginning of the episode, all of this had run dry and I've had to come through and put in ladders to make sure things can keep flowing. Uh, we're going to be working on sulfur farms over there. Grub, grub fruit and uh, the... The, the, the sweetles, the, we're going we're gonna to use those synergistically together. What a great word. Okay, we're going to have just a small, totally not apocalyptic flood level come through this way. Actually, it's going to gonna be slow because we've managed to hit the end of the day. It's always the end of the day coming along to uh, to ruin my plans. I'm going to pop down a critter drop off over here so that we can get these guys. Ideal how, how are we going to get you? Hello. How are we going to get you out of here? I mean, I guess it's just going to be through the digging. No one can reach. We'll carry on the ladders all the way across. That is no problem. The water, it drips down here. So far, I don't think it's a problem. Maybe we could go as far as to take these tiles out as well uh, but it is going to become a problem I think we're just going to run a little bit of power off of this system here and then maybe drop down a pump down the bottom there doesn't seem to be any pumping device on the go here I'd like to be able to is these are these both sand if I uh, dig those out that means that any dupe can, can do it and we're not entirely reliant on Hubble uh, I want to have a liquid pump what are we missing we're missing all our metal ores ah where's the cobalt we we were supposed to be getting cobalt sent across <laughs> here it like literally just up here okay that's 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 all stuff we can go get at some point Okay, now we might be getting just a little bit more of the water flowing. It should all just kind of gush out across this way. I don't know how uh, how much it's going to actually be a big flood. It seems to not really be uh, be filling up down this area all that much. I don't know at what point. Look, because this, this is like a 400 kilos and this is 300. And there's a big difference between this height and that height. And look, it's rippling back. Yeah, I, I find it very interesting that the, uh, the way it does... The, decides to display the di different liquids this is 600 down here i would like these to be taken out so these tiles here so that we can get all of these gases out i, I hope that's what will happen of course all this is going to take a back seat to trying to get the great hall up and running <laughs> I've been saving up this pun for a little while to be able to come in and be like, that's not just a good haul, that's a great haul. Unfortunately, we need to get this crown moulding in place. And I just got a scolding notification from Rutherford. I came over here and went, oh no, what's... What's actually going on here? It turns out that all of the magma that was on of this uh, liquid sulfur geyser has has frozen down into igneous rock. I mean, some of it is very, very hot. I don't understand quite why we are there. But regardless of why we are here, we, here we are. We have got a whole bunch of sulfur. It's over 700 degrees, so I've got an idea of how we can fix this. If we come to a temperature shift plate and try and get one made of coal, I, I can't remember exactly is it there is it there is it there i'm just gonna put all four of those down uh, i think it's this one that's the important one so i'm gonna i'm gonna turn that up if we come over to properties and have a look at the coal let's try clicking on this you can see anywhere above two th 276 degrees let's call it 280 just to round it off uh, it will turn into refined carbon and that refined carbon should hopefully look it's instantly flashing up uh should hopefully make a tile uh rather than please just just come along and make as many of the 
these as you can. That's a lot of gas. Thankfully, we do have exposure to the vacuum here. So there's, there's even oxygen. Oh, no. Why is there even oxygen? Wait, F4. Uh, we've got some some gases, but I don't think it's anything we need to worry about. This petroleum does seem to be doing what it needs to do to hold everything back. So uh, some something's happened at some point to let some gases through, but it looks like everything's going to be okay. Also, we're going to be pumping sulfur down. That's that's maybe not so great. Okay, the good news is the sulfur seems to just be condensing. So uh, I'm. I'm kind of okay with that. I've, I've had. We could, we could definitely have worse outcomes than sulfur turning into solid sulfur here. It's very hot, but that, that's fine. We can live with that. The goal is, yeah, there we go. Something has instantly, instantly turned into a block there. That, that's good. Hopefully, that now means that this is over pressure. I hope Boar is, is scolding. That's okay. We're just. Now going to ignore this area for a little bit until all of this. I mean, can can we get up here and maybe dig our way out? I, I sure do hope so because I want to get rid of all of this. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm just I'm just going to set up the uh, set up the orders and maybe once Rutherford has been through a healing cycle, he can go and fix that. We'll we'll just we'll just let that be. Now, what was I saying? It, it's it's. Well, uh, I'm still I'm still a missing um, still an item of decor short. Now the water cool is only ten decor. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, with the bedrooms built, I'm going to start ripping down the old ones. I'm going to leave this old toilet here for the moment. Not that I think it's ever going to end up being useful. And the same with these uh, these mess hall tables here. Now that we've got the great hall. Is it? Is it yet? Is it yet? Now that we've got the great hall. Beautiful. Turns out a plant on the wall is all you need. Uh, we should be able to get everybody over there for bigger morale or bonuses. The other thing I need to do at some point, of course, is to get the power running down and into my kitchen, but that is going to be the next job. I think maybe just across here. We'll put down a transformer, uh, and we're going to have the power coming across the top. We are starting to run dangerously low. Dangerously low of uh, any sort of ma building materials, any of the ones, the, any of the ones to do with the raw ore, anyway. Yeah, it's trying to experiment. Every now and then, we've been getting a little bit of oxygen through this line, and just over time, it has destroyed this hydrogen generator. Now, the hydrogen generator, I believe, we had to pay out. Let's have a look. Uh, we had to pay out uh, 800 grams of. 800 kilograms, sorry, of uh, aluminium to get it. When we destroy this totally broken generator, are we going to get that same amount back? Let's actually get um, Chandra over here to break it. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see. We'll see. Are we going to get the full 800 back? That would be great if we did. That means this is actually a free process. Who's starving? Plank's starving. We'll have to go figure something out about that. Uh, down on the floor. 400 there's another 400 i think that's the full 800 all right great look at that what what plank plank why why there's loads of food available why are you down here starving let's have a look plank can't eat gristleberry for some reason there we go i have fixed that particular problem uh the, the next problem is why why is everybody just dying from heat stroke over here it's it's a constant problem it's constant but that's a problem for another day. Well, who's going to fix my aluminium generator? Come along, one and all. Make this a serious, serious thing we can get away with. That was 200. Thank, thanks. Thank, all right. <laughs> Bedrooms, great hall, kitchen, materials dump, toilets for everyone. I think we've gone ahead and made this place as comfortable as we can today. And I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to come over to Reversal and deal with this terrific cloud of terror that has come along and made my day much much worse but we'll also be coming around making sure that other things are working fine and dandy but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye